My name is Nathan Kwao, and this is Offside. Man United 4, Chelsea 0. The biggest scoreline from the Premier League, not in terms of numbers, but in terms of a seismic effect on the opening weekend of the league. But what does it tell us about the two teams? First of Man United, great counter-attacking team. If you go at them, they will come back at you and they will flip the goals in just like they did against Chelsea. The biggest question though is, how will they react to a team that is deep? How will they react to a team that may have taken a one-goal lead and might just not want to open the doors and windows? Can Ole Gunnar Solskjaer find something else from his team? We wait to see. But as a counter-attacking specimen, Man United, top of the bunch, top of the class, super high grade. For Chelsea though, more questions for super Frank Lampard. Why did Olivier Giroud not start in the game? Why did Tammy Abraham start ahead of Giroud? Big questions for the man to answer. But he may get a free pass. It's a tough time, no players coming in, big transfer ban. But super Frank Lampard has got work on his hands. He needs to get this Chelsea team firing. If the Super Cup doesn't work against Liverpool, then they'll have to get it right against Leicester in their first home game of the Premier League season. So how do we conclude all of this? A few pointers. One, Man United need to sort out their midfield. They need to make Paul Pogba happy. They need to allow him to play, thrive and deliver some of the delicious passes we saw over the weekend. For Chelsea, they have got big things to do. Frank Lampard needs to sort out his team. Big boys need to play. Experience must be in the team at all times. He can believe in youth, no doubt, but he must take the hard decisions because this Chelsea job is a tough one. My name is Nathan Kyle and this is Offside. <laughs>